we are going to learn about the concept of area and how we can find the area using the unit measurement. Let's say I have two shapes like this, the shape A and shape B. And if I ask which one is larger, so you will definitely say that A is larger than B. But how did you come to that particular conclusion? Because area or the region bound by the shape A is greater than the region bound by shape B. Most commonly, you might have heard about square feet when people around you talk about lands and all. So square feet is a unit of area and there are different units of area, square feet then square meters or square centimeters, depending upon the type of shape that you're talking about. If you're talking about say land or some town area, Square feet is the most appropriate measurement to use. Square meters is also similar. It can also be used for land or cities to describe the areas of cities and all. Square centimeter could be used to describe the area of a paper or clothes, etc. Now, what is this square centimeter? So let's say this is one centimeter. And if you draw a square like this, you will get an area of one centimeter square and this is nothing but one square centimeter so if you fill all this area let me just enclose it and if i fill it up so this pink area becomes one centimeter square and if i say the area of certain region is 20 square centimeters so such 20 squares would be enclosed by that kind of an area now let's see how we can compute the area using the grid where every square in the grid represents a small square unit. So on the left hand side, we see a grid. So if I have drawn a square like this, then how many squares are enclosed by this square? And we know the answer here. We can simply count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And so the area of square is 9 square units. Because I have not specified what this unit is, we can simply write 9 square units. On the left hand side, we see another shape. Let's try and calculate the area of that as well. Assuming that this 1 square unit, we can write as 1 square unit. And so let's count the number of squares. We see that this much are 4 units, then another 4 units, then another 4 units, and then 12 plus 13, 14, 15, 16. So, area that we see alongside is 16 square units. Now until this point, we have seen regular shapes, but what if we had an irregular shape like this? How would we calculate area of such a figure? Now to do that, we list out full squares, exactly half of the squares, which are enclosed, then more than half, I'm just writing more than half, which are bounded by the shape, and less than half and then we classify the given number of squares. So let's go back to the figure. So I am shading the full squares and I can already see six full squares. This one is also there. This is also a full square. This is cut off and I don't see any other full square here. So the full number of squares are eight. Now what about exactly half squares? Because this is an irregular shape, there is no exactly half square but we can see many more than half squares so let's shade them in different color let me just shade them in brown so this is more than half this is more than half this is more than half this is as well more than half another one and this is more than half this is also more than half this is as well this 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 as well this are all more than half and the number of squares which are bounded more than half are 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is which is 12 again exactly half squares are 0 now we want to look at the squares which are filled less than half so i am putting green color over there and anyway we are going to ignore all of all of these but to just list out so there are eight less than half squares which are bounded the next thing that we do is to write area of all these squares. So the area for full square will be 8 square units. The half squares were 0 so it will be 0. For more than half squares we consider that their area is full. 
so we will write 12 square units four squares which are filled more than half and we totally ignore all the area that was contributed by the squares which were less than half of their area so in this case we can write that approximately i would always like to write approximately as a word so the area is going to be eight full squares plus 12 full squares assumed for more than half squares and that will be 20 square units this works because we are ignoring the area contributed by less than half squares and this is how we compute the area of any irregular shape using the grid